Uh, I do think it is uh, slowing, and on top of this, it's even more complicated picture, right, because of the tariff situations that are developing, and they are truly developing. We haven't reached uh, equilibrium yet. So those two factors combined lead to a lot of question marks in terms of whether or not you should be long any kind of emerging market, particularly China, exposure. And so I'm advising clients at this point to stay away from that, that area until we get more clarity, perhaps uh, 6 to 18 months in terms of how this will play out. Number one, we need to figure out how the tariffs will play out. And number two, we also need to see if China will continue its intervention with a company like Tencent, for instance, and uh, frankly, regulating some of its product line. Uh, that and on top of that, the third, po third point would be the currency uh, fixing uh, and the intervention of currency setting by the government. So those three points are very, very worrisome to me. And because of those points, I would stay on the sidelines for now. OK, let's talk about Tencent just for a moment, because we did see that shock result. Uh, when it comes to the, the, the decline that we've seen in Chinese tech stocks as well, Tencent has also led that charge. Do you think that those Chinese tech stocks are a proxy for the Chinese economy? Uh, I think it might, they might be a proxy more for the Chinese regulatory uh, philosophy which I would say is actually more troubling than just the sector itself. And uh, what I am concerned about is in a free economy where there is unregulated products uh, to a greater extent, the profits are allowed to uh, really be true profits and not re constrained or restrained profits. So that's the main thing that I'm concerned about is in general, uh, that's the philosophy there. And if, to answer your original question, in terms of the technology, I don't think it can be constrained just to the technology. It's more of a broader um, aspect that's of concern. Let's talk about some of the other aspects impacting emerging markets as well. We've seen sharp declines in the lira, of course, uh, as well as the Indian rupee and the peso as well. So really a lot of currency fluctuations. What's happening with the US dollar right now? Continuing to strengthen, do you think strong USD is going to pose a near-term equity market risk, not just in EM, but domestically as well? How much of a factor uh, are you giving strong USD right now? Well, I think it's a, a very good boost to the, uh, to the U.S. Uh, empathy right now in terms of having a stronger U.S. dollar. So I actually am uh, pleased that that is happening. As you know, uh, over a year ago, we were in the, the opposite side of that trade, and now we're on the positive side. So I do think uh, if you're looking at the U.S. economy, it bodes well. I know there's issues about um, exports, but as I've said, you have to tie this in with the trade war too. So that's very complicated to give you a final answer. I can just say that the U.S. dollar, uh, the strength of the U.S. dollar, I think bodes well, at least for the U.S. economy, and perhaps not temporarily for emerging markets at this point. There's a lot of negatives from a strong USD as well, though. What happens if we saw that translating into earnings next quarter? Is that going to be a risk? Mm -hmm. It absolutely could be, yes. But, you know, these things uh, wax and wane. And uh, I, as an analyst, for instance, I tend to discount the uh, exchange rate and look more at the organic sales of the companies. Because uh, exchange rates and hedging against currencies, that's a whole other game for people. And I don't think it's necessarily indicative of the fundamental operations of a company and the economy that it's operating in. So while it is a driver in certain companies that are uh, global, I do tend to discount the effect of currency uh, much against my, uh, many of my other peers, for instance. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.